Welcome to Curse of Naxxramas. Guys, it's finally here. Curse of Naxxramas has finally come out. There's been an update, um, changing a few things. First of all, in the shop. Obviously, there's the card section. Um, and then there's the adventure section, so you could, like, buy all the wings for real money. Um... Yep, and there are some rewards there, but I have held off until now, even watching any videos, so this is going to be completely blind. It, this is uh, Wednesday morning, because I wasn't, there were a lot of problems yesterday with people being able to get on, and a lot of people were angry, but I think it's because so many people were trying to play yesterday that it really just was not working. So let's check this out. Wow, this is cool. So there's practice. <laughs> Look at this artwork. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is what we're used to. The normal expert practice. But now they've added Max Ramis. It looks like there's the normal version of the class challenge. Unlocked by completing a wing in normal mode. And heroic. Same thing. The light Kelthuzad awaits within, along with 14 other deadly bosses to challenge your skills. Defeat the bosses to earn unique Nexramus cards, and I cannot wait to unlock them. Let's go. So we got the Arachnid Corridor for free. Uh, that's how it started. Um, it looks like the first game here unlocks us. The Haunted Creeper, Death Rattle, Summon 2, 1-1 one, one, Spectral Spiders. That's so good. You can think of this guy as a 3-4 four for 2 mana. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy good. Uh, looks like in this second game we get Nerubar Weblord. Minions with Battlecry cost 2 more. That's pretty good. It's kind of weird. Weird stats. It's a 1-4 for 2. <laughs> and then this third game we get the Nerubian Egg. The 0-2. But with Death Rattle, summon a 4 4 Nerubian, which would be awesome. That's a sweet card. And then, a, I don't, I think this is like a final boss, I think. And then we get Makes Na, this 2 8 for 6 mana. Destroy any minion damaged by this minion. So it's kind of like a huge, beefy Emperor Cobra. Because it's got so much health. But I think we're just going to jump in here. The Nubricon is one of my finest spider lords. Good luck, interloper. Dang, a Nubricon. What's his hero ability? Summon a 3-1 Nerubian? Oh my goodness, Skitter. How am I supposed to beat that? A 3-1 Nerubian. Well... The more I think about it, the more I'm like in mage in this matchup because our hero powers technically cancel themselves out. So... So this board is just gonna get too powerful if I don't, if I play one of these three. So let's try the spell power mage. I actually don't think you guys have seen this deck yet. I don't think I've played it online yet. But this... This, uh, this deck... Just kind of is focused around spell power and getting um, just board clears with like arcane explosion and stuff. Guys, this is so cool. Jaina versus Anubrikan. Welcome to my parlor. You asked for it. Oh my goodness! I didn't think curse or I thought next round was gonna be good, but I didn't think it'd be this good. This is awesome. Let's check what we get in our starting hand. Okay, Frostbolt and Arcane Explosion are okay, but I do want an early minion. What the heck? Look at this field. Job's done. <laughs> what can we do? The crystal thing. Death Charger. Charge. Death Rattle. Deal 3 damage to your own hero. Hmm. Well, it looks like Frostbolt is pretty good against it. And there we go. So we're technically in the lead here. What is that? Oh, okay. Huh, 
Okay, stone skin guard. Stone skin gargoyle for three mana. It's a one four. At the start of your turn, restore this minion to full health. Huh. Okay. So there's no point in damaging it then, because it'll just heal back up. So we'll just do that. Turn the hero power to the face because we didn't have anything else. Next turn, we can water elemental. Throw, throw down another gargoyle. Can we get another arcane missiles? Let's throw down water elemental. Finally, our first minion. A new bar ambusher. What the? Death rattle will turn a random friendly minion to your hand. There's another arcane explosion. It'd be nice to have some spell power here. Well. Let's see. Do I kill one of these gargoyles? Because I really don't have one a play. Let's arcane missiles. Let's see what it hits. That, that, and his face. Actually, that's perfect. So let's do that. And that sends one of these guys back into his hand. Perfect. And then we'll hero power his face. And there's nothing else we can do. So he'll probably do that, yep. But then I can just ping it. What? Oh, there's the skitter. Death Lord. Taunt. But his death rattle is your opponent puts a minion from their deck into the battlefield. Wow, that's intense. <laughs> okay, here I think we cobalt into Arcane Explosion. Because we want to... It'll kill both of these and put him down to 6 health. So let's do it. And we can also do an arcane missiles. Let's do it. One, two, two of them hit the guy, two of them hit him. Shade of Max Ramus. Jeez, these cards are awesome. And a Frostbolt. He had his own Frostbolt. Shade of Max Ramus. Stop at the start of your turn. Gain plus one, plus one. Dang, that's good. Holy cow. Okay, Arcane Intellect's pretty good. Well, let's just toss down Boulder for Stoger. So he's just gonna keep growing. Another Death Lord. Oh, he attacked with it. Okay. But still, he's a 3-3. Three, three, which isn't good. Gobashi Berserker is interesting. Let's draw some cards. Actually, before we do that, let's get a minion onto the board. A Cobalt Geomancer. Okay, I think Arcane Explosion's pretty good then. Arcade Explosion, and then we ping the shade, because we have to kill that thing. So let's do that. Yeah, and then we can draw two cards. I should have drew first, but yeah, that card wouldn't have helped us, and neither would Dauron Mage. Actually, Dauron Mage might have been able to help us. Oh, well. Oh. Holy, what the? Dollar on mage. What was that card? Locust Swarm? Deal 3 damage to all enemy minions. Restore 3 health to your hero. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Alright, so I can't kill this thing, so there's no point in damaging it. 6 mana? Do we just put down both Arc Mage and Dollar on Mage? Or do we get a little bit more aggressive with Gurubashi Berserker? <laughs> I like Gurubashi Berserker. I'm gonna throw down the other Dalaran Mage. At plus one. Shadow Bolt is pretty good. And we did it to him. And another Shadow Bolt, okay. Wow. There's the skitter. 
we've used both of our arcade explosions, so we're just gonna have to ping that thing. But hold on, not yet. What do we want to do? Pinging it would bring us down to 8 mana, so we couldn't arcane and archmage. I think let's just... Fireball does 8 damage. It's not gonna do 8 damage much longer. Okay, let's ping this. Let's send out Archmage and deal damage to him. If all of these three can survive and Fireball does 9 damage, that is too good. The Rubar Weblord means the Battle Cry costs 2 more. That's not very good for him right now. And the Nerubian Egg, that might be even more than Polymorph. Uh, so he was able to kill it. Oh well. Another Archmage. Wow. Okay, we, we do need to ping that thing. So... Huh. With it, we can Arcane Intellect. Let's do that. Flame Strike. What a draw. However, Flame Striking will summon a 4 4, but I could just kill it with the Archmage. Should I do that? Does he have any threats? Well, Battle Cry, I don't have any Battle Cry minions. And he doesn't have any more cards, so I think Flame Strike is actually pretty good. Let's do it. Here we can kill the 4 4 Nerubian. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should think before I do stuff. We, we could have killed the Nerubian Egg with the Archmage. And then the 4 4 would be out. And then I would have Flame Strike. Okay, a new bar ambusher. Well, oh well. So I could deal 5, 13 damage to him this turn. I could just polymorph the Anubar. Oh wait, I could do 9 with this fireball. And then 5 here, that would be 14 damage. No, I want to kill this Nerubian. So let's kill the Nerubian. I also want to kill that thing, but I don't want to waste the fireball on it. Let's... Let's throw down the Senjin and the Loot Hoarder and just hit his face. Locust Swarm. Oh my gosh. That was too good. Oh well. What can we do here? Two fireballs. 14, 15, 16 damage. You bring him down to 3. I want to kill this thing. I could just kill it with a ping and the dollar on mage. That might be worth it. Then we could send out Archmage. Yeah, let's do it. So this goes back into his hand, it costs 2. But that really doesn't matter because he has 10 mana and 2 cards. And then with 8, oh, I'll just play Archmage. There's another Skitter, a Nerubian Egg, and another Nerubian. Ooh, Mirror Image is good here. Huh. Well, I could do double Fireball. Oh, is that lethal? 7, 14, 18, 19. Yeah! We won our first Naxxramas game. Wow. Dang, Anubrakan is down. Nice.
defeat the Grand Widow. <laughs> the Grand Widow. Anubicon defeated. We got the Haunted Creepers. Those cards are too good not to have in this deck. In all of our decks, pretty much. So let's go back. Dang. Hold on, let's take Fialina a look. Fialina is training acolytes to worship me. Her job is very important. Do not disturb her. Too bad. Okay. Training acolytes. Rain of fire. Fire a missile for each card in your opponent's hand. Oh my gosh, that's overpowered. So she just does a ton of damage. So we need... We can't have like a control deck against her. Because with decks like our warrior and stuff like that, we need a lot of cards to win. <laughs> so we'll try the Beast Hunter. I'm not sure how that'll go against her, though. So we got the Haunted Creeper. Let's see if that fits in our execution deck. In for something. Um, let's let's put it in instead of Loot Hoarder. And let's also take out... Hmm. I think we take out maybe one of the oozes. I just want to try this haunted creeper out, see if it's good in the online mode. But we'll we'll find that after we finish this wing. I'll do a little bit longer of an episode. I'll do two games. So Grand Widow Fairlina. We'll try the hunt the hunter deck against her. But it seems like against her, the fastest deck possible would be the best. Clearing trash. Guys, this is awesome. I cannot believe. I really hope they do this again. If they do this again, that would be awesome. Another adventure. Grand Widow Fairlina. My acolytes serve me without question. Let's I'm sure they do. Begin. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the owl too. That hero power is OP. Okay, this is a good starting hand because it's faster. We're not holding on to any dead cards. Oh, I spoke too soon. A death Charger, deal 3 damage to your hero. If only it was a 3-2, then Arcane Shot would kill it. But technically, Bloodfin Raptor kills it, so let's just drop that down. Rain of Fire. Oh my goodness, that is OP. That is way too good. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> Okay. This game is OP. Rain of Fire. Just kill everything that's on my board. Oh my. What? I'm already down to 22. Arcane shot that thing. That could be good. Hold on, we never looked at that. Undertaker, whenever, whenever you summon a minion with death rattle, game plus one plus one. So it's kind of like a secret keeper. Arena fire. Dang it! Oh my gosh, it just hits the card I don't want it to hit. Then he's gonna coin out Worshipper. Your hero has plus one attack on your turn. Is that like on every turn or the turn that you play him? I don't know. Okay, Iron for Grizzly, survive this. Survive this, please. Survive the Reign of Fire. Oh, he didn't do the Reign of Fire. Rampage. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. A Rampage again! Come on, Iron Beak Owl. <laughs> Please, Iron Beak Owl. We're about to get owned. Okay, Savannah High is good in there.
Battle Rage. Oh no. Join me. Necro Knight. Oh wow. Okay, so it's a 5-6 for 4, but this death rattle will destroy the minion next to this one as well. Dang. That's good for me. Okay, let's put out Buzzard, even though I'm not even playing a beast. And then we'll bump this up, plus two, plus two, and then kill that. I just wanted this to survive, that's why I did that on Master. So she's saying that to me? How did I fail? I just killed both of your minions. Uh, Inner Rage will kill the Buzzard in the Acolyte of Pain. Another Acolyte of Pain, Undertaker. Well, Iron Beak Owl would have been useful like two turns ago, but oh well. We could just Houndmaster this thing again. Let's do it. And let's silence that thing just so it doesn't get big. Guys, we might actually win this one. <laughs> He's down to nine. Abusive Sergeant. And Worshipper. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And there's that. There's our two twos. Necro Knight destroyed the minions next to this one as well. Okay. He's gonna get another draw. And he'll kill the hyena. Guys, we just won! We won again! I cannot believe we are doing this well. Holy cow. Okay. I don't think he will. This this adventure seems kind of easy, but maybe that's because this is normal mode. The Spider Queen will dispatch you easily. Okay, so we got Nerubar Weblord. Minions of Battlecry cost two more. It can be good, but I don't see it fitting in our decks. Who's this? He's a giant spider! <laughs> the massive spider queen births endless spiderlings to feed on the corpses of interlopers. For three mana. It's a three mana hero of heart. I've never seen that before. Web wrap. Return a random enemy minion to your opponent's hand. Hmm. Which deck would be good against my Axna? Um, the shaman? Do you think? Maybe what I'm thinking here is a lot of stuff with battle cry. A good battle cry, and maybe charge minions as well. So maybe not this deck. But, maybe we do Beast Hunter again, or the Warrior, let's try the Beast Hunter again, except let's see if these spiders fit in, let's see where are they, yeah cause this is a beast, oh my, this is a beast, but this isn't? This is going in our deck, for sure. Um, let's get rid of one Timberwolf, I think. They're not very... Actually, let's get rid of one Razorfin Hunter. And then let's get rid of one... Bloodfin Raptor. Or Iron for Grizzly. Let's get one... One Grizzly. Yeah, Hunted Creeper. These spiders. Beasts? That's weird. Well, I guess they are beasts. Whoops. Okay, let's. I'll play the third one, and then if we win or lose, I'll just end it there. End the video there. My Exna. Trying to finish this wing in one day. Just one playing. Let's see if we can do it. Beast Hunter. Don't let me down. Oh, don't let the next round of bosses get you down. <laughs> exactly. Build a custom deck to crush them. That's also a good idea. So if this 
hunter deck fails to kill my Exna, then I think I'll just build a custom deck. Um, I'll just do a lot of studying and stuff like that. My Exna. Wow, look at that artwork. Oh, <laughs> that is a not a good sound. Okay, Stranglethorn Tiger's going back. I'll keep Hunter. Actually, let's get rid of Hunter's Mark. We'll keep Iron for Grizzly, however. I want that spider. I haven't played with the spider. Yeah, Hunter Creeper. Nice. Dang. Her poison will make your death mostly painless. <laughs> what are these? Are these like spider sacks? Oh. We got his own haunt and creeper. Well, I'm gonna play my own. Let's see what he does. He can't web wrap it. Another one? Oh no. Okay, I think we'll just toss down iron for Grizzly just to slow down his creepers. He could just web wrap it though. Oh no, Emperor Cobra. Oh, he's gonna have a board. Holy cow. Oh my, okay. I think we sent out Animal Companion. We got the 4 4, nice. Okay, so we'll kill the Emperor Cobra. We will kill one of these things. So he can't kill Misha. Necrotic poison, destroy a minion. What the? That's just way too OP. Direwolf Alpha. You'll deal all the damage to me. That was way too OP. Okay, here we're just gonna Tundra Rhino. Make sure we kill that thing. And then we'll kill that just because it spawns two more for us. Spectral spiders. Stone skin gargoyle. Okay, that's no problem. Haunted creeper. That might be a problem. And he'll deal damage to me directly. Okay, I like this. Oasis Snapjaw and Bloodfen Raptor, but they all have charge. So it seems like he's trying to charge me down, which is interesting. Let's kill the stone skin gargoyle, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kill his weblings. The webling things. And then let's deal damage to him directly. Shade of Max Ramus. So that could be a problem if he doesn't use it. And then he's gonna web wrap the Tundra right now. Whatever, man. Okay, so he's got two one ones. Um. Maybe Stormwind Champion is a good play? He'll probably bounce it back, but oh well. Let's just start pushing damage. Let's see what he does. Shade of Max Jarvis is now 3-3. He's gonna web wrap that. Okay. That's still a 3-2 though, right? Yep. A new bar ambusher. And he'll do that. That's interesting. Why did he attack the Waste of Snapchat with the Shade? Huh. Well, this makes my play pretty dang easy. Um, I'm going to Hunter's Mark that. Then we're going to play Tundra Rhino. We are going to then play Timberwolf. Um, I don't want him getting that card back, so I'm going to kill that card first. Yep. And then I'm going to kill that with the Timberwolf, and send two to the face. And there. Oh, I should have attacked first before I killed the Timberwolf. My bad. Oh well. Emperor Cobra. Haunted Creeper. Web Wrap. Uh... Oh well, it doesn't really matter much. Kill command, okay. 
that's decent. I could do four, nine, eleven damage to him. Wow, I didn't expect to do that much. I think Storm and Champion, though, is a decent play. Just because it allows this trade. Hmm. Or maybe I silence something. Ah, this is tough. So if I play Tundra Rhino, then I could play Iron Beak Owl and silence this. Then I can use Iron Beak Owl to kill this. Actually, I don't think I want to kill that this turn. So yeah, let's play Storm and Champion. And we could silence that thing. Well, it's not doing anything right now, though. So we'll just send two into the face. He's down to 13. Oh, I forget about that web wrap. Every time. And another haunted creeper. And an acidic swamp boost. Okay. I think our turn here is pretty good. Oh, Tundra Rhino. You do seven damage, eight, nine damage. Or we could just Houndmaster and beef this thing up. Or we could make it a little bit more control standpoint. We could send out Iron Beak Owl, silence one of these, and then kill the ooze with the Iron Beak Owl. Let's do that. And then we could kill Commander's face, though. Let's kill that thing. Let's just send two to the face. He's down to 11, so he's got to be... Um, he's got to do this pretty quickly. Nerubian Egg. Well... Um, that's 5, 10 damage. I am one off from winning. Let's send that Tundra Rhino. 7, 8, 9. We could do 9 that way. Let's just do Houndmaster here. And set up a win for next turn. Sludge Belcher. What the? Taunt. Death Rattle. Summon a 1-2 Slime with Taunt. And it's 3-5? Oh my, that is OP. Do we get that card later on? I really hope we do. It's a good thing, though, that we have... The way to win. So it's a three. You can look at it as a four-seven with two different taunts for five mana. For five mana, you get a five-four or a three-six. You get a four-seven. We got an ruby egg. That could be very good. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Dang, this is fun. Max Ramus. And, oh, there is no boss. Oh, it's just my, my ex now. Oh, sweet. Oh, it will. My ex now. Our first legendary in the game. Class challenges unlocked for the druid and rogue. Insanely difficult heroic arachnid quarter. Well, we're going to have to do those class challenges, I think. Because the druid deck seems actually would be pretty good with some of these... Um, Curse of Max Ramus cards. Um, but what I'm thinking with Nerubian Egg is you you beef it, you like, um, what am I trying to say? You buff it up so it has attack and health. And that way, your opponent has to kill it. Because I, I was just avoiding killing it when I was playing that one game. I didn't have to kill it. Because it doesn't have attack, you can't kill it with your by yourself. Oh, my ex now. We got my ex now too. That's what I'm. I'm searching for the the number one card. My ex now. Wow. And he's a beast. Oh my gosh. My ex now is coming into the beast hunter deck for sure. In place of Boulder Fists. My ex now. Dang. That is such a nice card. I cannot wait to play with it. Holy cow. Beautiful. 
The Spell Power Mage. Can any of the spider cards fit in here? Maybe instead of Boulder Fist Ogre? Leave your comments below, guys. Is my accent better than Boulder Fist Ogre? Boulder Fist Ogre brings that damage threat, though. My accent doesn't do a ton of damage. Unless you can buff it up. Like with other beasts, like in a Beast Hunter deck. <laughs> that card is going to be awesome. And also, do the spiders fit in this deck? The Ruby and Egg. Eh, it doesn't really fit. <clears throat> Haunted Creeper doesn't really fit either. I mean, Haunted Creeper is a way better card than Cobalt Geobancer. But Cobalt Geomancer sets up really good Arcane Missiles and Arcane Explosions in Frostbolt early in the game. That's why I like Cobalt Geomancer. And the Nurubar Weblord actually isn't one of my favorite cards. Yeah, these are Soulbound, so you can't disenchant or craft. But you can craft the Golden. That's the only way to get the Golden. The Doom Doomhammer deck will definitely use some spiders, I think. Um, let's see, where are they? Right here. <clears throat> what can we get rid of in this deck? Let's get rid of one Loot Hoarder. Now let's get rid of the Fairy Dragon. Yeah. Haunted Creepers, man. They're too good. They're too good. Um, they're a nightmare for control decks, is what I'm... Is what it looks like. Uh, Nerubian egg. Nerubar web lord won't really fit. Nerubian egg. It doesn't look like it fits either. My Axna does though. I'm gonna put my Axna in place of one Bloodfist Ogre or one Frostal Four Lord. Um. Let's get rid of one Frost Wolf. Having one Frost Wolf is still a huge threat. Actually, but I like Frostwolf better than Boulderfist Ogre in this deck, so we'll get rid of the Boulderfist Ogre. My ex, no man. So there's that deck. Does this. I don't think this deck has my ex, no. Yet, yeah, no. Dang, guys, I cannot wait to try out these cards. Well, we can try them out next episode, or next week. Dang it, it's gonna be a whole week until we can play Curse of Max Ramus more. That sucks. But let's actually get one of rid of one Arcanite Reaper. They cause too much damage for me to my hero, so we'll get rid of one of those. I cannot wait though to unlock the Warrior Challenge and do that. I wonder what those how those challenges go. But I thank you guys for watching, guys. I think Naxxramas deserves a like and a subscribe. Please, this is bringing this episode episode to you guys makes me so excited. I think it deserves a like, so make sure to leave a like down below. Also leave a comment of what you're thinking about Curse of Max Ramus thus far. Have you started yet? Um, how do you guys like it? Are you guys impressed? Or are you guys not impressed? So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. All three of those things. And I will see you guys next time.